Oh. Daddy! How are you doing? Good. <laughs> This is the moment of truth. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Good luck over winter, and I'll see you again. We're back in Kamloops, which is where we started our journey. It's where we bought our van, Chili, from Cal and Debbie. We were only meant to stay here for a few days, and then, unfortunately, the terrible floods hit British Columbia. Just down the road from us, Lillooet and Merritt were both underwater and all four of the highways we wanted to take to Vancouver were washed away. Two days ago, Highway 99 reopened. This is the route we need to take to go back by a Whistler, Squamish and eventually Vancouver. But because the roads are so damaged, it's only open to essential travel. We've been here two weeks and we don't want to wait any longer. So we're going to give it a go and we're not sure what's going to happen. Hey buddy. Hey. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, it is. To Vancouver. Absolutely. Hopefully, yeah. Alright, on the south side of the little you're going to run into an RCMP roadblock. Just checking addresses and IDs, making sure you're going where you need to go. Okay, yeah, we're going to an address in Vancouver. No worries, and other than that, just drive safe and have a good day, man. Okay, okay. thank you. Take care. Thank you. You know, if they don't accept that, then there's nothing to do. We're not doing anything wrong. Okay, so we're in the uh Hi there. Okay. Yeah, good, thanks. Uh, what are you guys up to? We're heading back to our accommodation in New Westminster. Okay, do you have a ID with an address, residential address? Yep. There's my ID and there's my address. Okay, and just to let you know, uh, there might be single lane traffic up on the hill. Okay. For 40k, 50k up. Okay, cool. So you guys are good to go. You guys have a safe trip. Thank you, Thank have a you. good day. Cheers. Mission success. We'd made it through the roadblock. Luckily for us, Chile's registered in Vancouver, so the documents I handed over showed us returning home. We hit the road, Route 99, weaving our way through the Rocky Mountains, with the next stop, Squamish. Start dancing, hope. in Squamish, British Columbia, about to do the Stuamish Chief Trail, also known as the Three Peaks Trail. Yeah. We've just arrived at peak number three because we're actually doing the hiking counterclockwise. We've got an incredible view up here. Down there's the Sea to Sky Highway, which curls round into Vancouver, and you can see for miles up here. Nice. So we've just made it to the second peak. And down there over my shoulder is Squamish Harbour where there's a whole load of logging going on. And we're getting some clearer views of the mountains although the clouds are coming in, but it looks incredible.
Dupont! Got a marriage! <laughs> After two weeks exploring Canada, we returned to Vancouver, the place where it all began. But this time, we had our van. We were exhausted from our trip and needed to rest, but fate had other plans. The worst day of our trip was right around the corner. We just went out onto the street and our car van was gone. It, we're in Vancouver and I can't even really get my words out, I'm just so shocked. We were staying with James's stepbrothers and we just parked on the street outside the, his apartment and we had breakfast here. We went outside to, to leave. We've been here about two hours, two and a half hours and the van was gone. And the panic that James and I just went through instantly thinking there's passports in there, all our stuff, trip is over. I mean, I have my camera, I have my laptop with me, but everything is in that van. We're saying, is it broken? Has it been stolen? Is it gone? Has it been towed? There was no signs, there was no parking signs to say it had been towed, no ticket, nothing. We ran back upstairs and uh, Mike, James's stepbrother, called New Westminster Council and they said that they towed it. So, <sighs> I mean, in a way, I'm relieved it's not stolen, but we don't know what's going to happen now. I'm, I'm just waiting to, you know, they haven't given us more details. We need to call them back, see where it is, how much it's going to cost. They towed it apparently because it was parked in front of a fire hydrant. I mean, there was no signs there. It just said parking, two hours. There was no nothing saying you couldn't park in front of the fire hydrant. You know, we, we'd even looked and we got there to see if it was okay to park there. And just taken our home, They've taken our van, just like that, and it's gone. And now we need to go in search of it and pay who knows how much. So it's just probably gonna devastate our budget. This is just a fucking nightmare. How can they do this? Transferring all my money over because I just know you have to pay it. Price for this towing. It was like I just thought it was stolen. There's a tiny bit of happiness that we know where it is, but oh, I just I just want to cry my eyes out. It's not even funny. It's like I just thought the whole trip was over. I'm just imagining having to go back to England. Just running down the streets in the rain, hoping to see it somewhere. But then if I did see it, what was I gonna do? I just can't believe it, like, we just come for breakfast. Oh, I don't think my heart can take this anymore, you know. And I, I, I don't mind, I'll just get a taxi or a train or whatever this turns into, and I'll pay it. Oh, I'll pay it, I just want that van back so bad. Go check up on that, I'll just... It's just like your life, just take it. Nice. James. I just looked it up. I mean, I don't know where we have to go and go pick it up from. When it's going to be there, how they're going to hold it, how much it's going to cost. Sorry, I just don't really have anything to say, that's the thing. What can I say? Now we know how awful this is. How much this is going to cost us is going to be the thing that I'm most afraid of. Just can't believe they can take it like that. 
No, I think someone plays this. This is crazy, man. Yeah. Cheers. Ridiculous. Can you see here now in the sign? It says. Can you see the arrow? Yeah. So two hour parking this way only. We wanted a bit of uh, chill time and might catch up, but. <laughs> the other way of looking at it is if we went out for drinks in Vancouver, it would have cost you more than this, so. <laughs> That's probably a good point, actually. <laughs> yeah. James will vote for that. We're at the tow depot, whatever it is. <laughs> Mike's driven us here and we're going to try and get our van back and pay whatever it is. James, can you see? Gotta get in here now. There she is. Oh, you have to walk. Hi there, yeah, I am. Ready to drive the Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. So, can you explain to me just. Um, I mean, okay, can I just pay for it all now? I mean, this has to pay for the. Um... They just let me pay for it now and figure it out later. Okay. But yeah, keep that in mind because that's everywhere in Canada. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty yeah horrific lesson to cross to learn. If I'm honest, we thought the van had been stolen, and it's like yeah. yeah. It's just one of those things. Like, I'm not gonna get angry at her. So she's doing her job. It's one of those like obviously yeah, this is horrible, and I feel it just. I think loathsome to someone who's just doing their job isn't going to make me feel any better. That's the van. We're busting Chile out of jail, effectively. Oh God, it's... <laughs> I miss you, Chile. I thought we lost you. I want to just smash the gap up. Fucking hell, they just parked close to that Mini. I knew he did actually hit that. If I crashed on the way out, this would just be absolutely ridiculous. You're gonna let us out? Jilly's broken out of jail. Woo! We paid we paid bail for Jilly. Jilly? Chili. Can't even speak, I'm still just so nervous. Michael, yeah. my stepbrother, he <laughs> saved us today. <laughs> He yeah. really has, so Thank we want to give him a special mention. Hopefully this is the last of the disasters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here, Matty. We're not getting towed outside the tow space. <laughs> kidding. He just stopped right outside that fucking gate and was looking at us. To get us again. It's just like... What kind of oh, low life do you have to be to do that? I know it's just like everyone obviously hates like tax collectors, like people who tow, but like... The doc, we're just checking we've got all our documents, you just... Yeah, we've got the van back. Let's just say the aftershock is still well and truly in. And it just shows how fragile this trip is, it's just... The margins we're working off are just so narrow, like there's no space for error. If that was, if the van was stolen, then it's trip over because of the amount of money we've lost, we can't afford another one, it's just too much damage. And, you know, if the impounding fees were higher than what they were, that could still just be a huge, it could take a month off of our trip, you know, who knows. I mean, for those of you who are interested, it was $228.83. Yeah, so they charged us $75 for being too close to a fire extinguisher. Basically, number one rule, never park within five meters of a fire hydrant, because they will tow your vehicle and your life could be ruined. And so on top of that, they also charged us $150 for towing it literally 10 minutes down the road. Just criminal. Let's just say we're having a bad day. A very bad day. So we're having a cigarette inside the van. Who'd want to travel? No, that's. It's miserable out there, and it's miserable in here, but when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. We had to put the towing ordeal behind us and think to the future. We'd hated our time in Vancouver, it wasn't right for us, but we had one last thing to look forward to, the surface haven and wonderful wilderness of Vancouver Island.
might have been one of the most dangerous hikes I've ever done. That was absolutely awful. I hated every second of that. 